Hey guys, Colleen Gallagher here. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is not going to be like an airy fairy live, you know, so I want to just get to the point. Um, I just saw a really fascinating um, question someone posed, which was, you know, am I the only one that believes in monogamy still? And which is a really authentic question. And this, this actually, this live is not going to be about monogamy versus polyamory. But someone replied to a comment on this post and I'm, I'm like fired up. Like actually, I think I don't even like, I'm like really fired up about it because what this person commented on this post blew my motherfucking mind. Um, and what this person commented and they said, that must just be a California thing. That must be a California thing to ask a question, to pose an authentic question of, am I, I don't even know if this woman lives in California or not, but to pose the question is monogamy or polyamory is like it weird to still be just monogamy. And the woman responded, it must be a California thing. Okay. I, 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 I can't not say anything because it's some of my deepest passion and dharma. You all, we just had how many months? I don't even understand. In the, in the United States of America and in the whole motherfucking world it impacted. How many months did we just have with Black Lives Matter? I don't understand. We just had a whole motherfucking year of, of Black Lives Matter. Don't discriminate based on how someone looks or what, what they are. We just had a whole year of a shutdown. Like COVID-19 happened for a spiritual reason. One, because we're evolving. COVID happened for us to shut the fuck up, to be inside, to go inward, to have a spiritual awakening. And then... To see the injustices, the social injustices that are happening on multiple levels. And so when someone posts an authentic question, a, 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 a desire to understand them, is this truth, is monogamy and polyamory, which is very true as we're shifting to the new world, a lot of people are going to go into a more open polyamorous state. I don't believe that is the highest of truth. I believe there's a lot of people who don't want to live into their highest. So they want to, you know, explore multiple partners. And I think if you're just having fun, you know, I have fun. I think if you're just having fun and you're, you're trying to just transactionally, you're on your journey. I'll do this. I'll do that. Sure. It's fine. But to, in truth, no, monogamy is the way you have a fucking mission. You have a partner you're here to unite with and you're here to, you know, unite in that way. So when someone comments like, LOL, is that a California thing? So you basically just pulled from the same consciousness. You basically, when you say that is a California thing, you just pulled from the same consciousness because you are black, because you are white, because you are European, because you are African, because you are here, that must be what your belief is. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I can't. I, I literally like, I was like almost not going to say anything. I replied to this woman on Facebook live because it like, I mean on Facebook comments because it blew my mind that, that we just like, I, you guys, I'm sorry. Cause this is something I'm so passionate about, about equality and about unifying and about like, no matter what the fuck you've been through in life, like we've all been through shit. You can do whatever you want to do. If you want to be polyamorous, go ahead. I don't really care. I'm just sharing what I know about truth of sacred love and sacred union and light. It's like you really want to rise and ascend. It's not polyamory. Now, do I think there's a time and a place for it? And do, in a very spiritual world that we have no human interaction? Absolutely. We all love each other. We're all going here. We're in a motherfucking human experience. Point blank, period. We're in a human experience. So it doesn't work if you want to be devoted to your mission, like I am, like many other people in this community are. You are desiring, what is my purpose? Why am I here? Why am I really here to express truth? Like you're really wondering that. Like you're, how do I express what's inside of me? This intelligent knowledge that I have. How do I do that? And for someone to comment, when someone's asking an authentic question, because they're not at, they're not at the fully state yet of what's, is, am I crazy to think that monogamy is still a thing? I understand a lot of you are thinking that, like, is that crazy? Woman, especially, is that crazy to ask? I'm asking a man to commit to me. Is that motherfucking crazy? I don't think it is. It's not fucking crazy. These men need to go figure their shit out. Leave them alone. They'll go figure it out, and you, you go do your work, and the right man will be attracted to you. Period. But for a woman to comment and say that's a California thing, lady, I have lived all over the world, five countries, and I've lived in five USA states. I've been to 42 countries all alone. Let me tell you something. You, if you were to actually scale the population, this is the research journey. You were to scale the population of Utah, Hawaii, and Wyoming. 
They actually have the largest polyamory. Like, what are you even talking about? Do you understand that there's African countries that literally believe that there's non-monogamous? Do you understand that there's cults that don't believe women should have one man? Like, there are men raping women. Do you understand this? Like, I, it's just the dumbest motherfucking comment I've ever heard it. I'm sorry I'm, like, going off on it, but I can't not go off because this is, like, such a passion of mine. We just had a year of year of COVID and just sit and watch Black Lives Matter, which is obviously an issue. It's not, you know, I'm not sitting here. It's not. It's obviously an issue. We've got child sex trafficking. So for you to comment on something with such an unawakened and silly comment, but because you're in California, lady, you clearly aren't understanding the social injustice issues. So for you, any human being, what my message is here, Whew, let me breathe because I'm really got some fire on this. Because that consciousness that that woman just anchored in by giving that language, which is so important. I just did it in my last post about being a light worker. I just did it in my last blog post about, um, I did my last video about what that man said to me when he reached out and said, I want to date you, assuming, coming into my energy. When you sit there as a human being and you at any moment judge a geographical area, you judge a person based on their color, you judge a person based on where they're from, where they, they, where they were born in the planet? Oh, hell no. Hell no. You want to know why this is happening? You want to know why people are dying right now? Do you want to know why we're all locked up? It's because of fucking comments like that, because of a consciousness like that. And I, you can understand, you can say, Colleen, be kind, be nicer. I just said in my last video, I'm not the compassionate leader. I am kind though. This is not something I can be kind about. I can't. There's too many people that have suffered. I, I lived in South Africa right after Nelson Mandela died. I saw the apartheid. I was in Cuba when there was a revolution with Venezuela and there was a massive issue with multiple countries that impacted. Do you understand what China is doing right now with ports, buying ports to literally take over the world? Like it, it, it's just wild. People have no one. I'm not going to get into it because that's not the point of this. The point is that anytime you look at somebody or someone asks an authentic question, and it may seem like a stupid question to you, but it's never stupid because they're trying to learn. They're trying to be a student. There's a lot of things I don't know in this world. I'm smart, but I don't know a lot of things. Now, I'll be honest with that. If you ask me how to make a drink, if you ask me how to be a mom, if you were to ask me how to plan for groceries, I don't, get, I don't know how to do any of those things. None of them. I will never in my life judge someone who was like, I know how to plant a garden. I have not a fucking clue how to do that. And if I ask an authentic question about that, I definitely don't want to be judged. Of, oh, well, because you are from the world or from planet, whatever, you obviously wouldn't know how to do that. The fuck? We just went through a whole year. So my message, because I'm really passionate about this. <sighs> okay, breathe time. When you have an authentic question as we're all aligning to consciousness and awakening. And you have a very serious question that you feel like is polyamory or is monogamous? Is that a thing? That's not a dumb question. The world is shifting. Now, if you want to play in an unconscious realm, not into the true of the light. And if you want to explore, exploring is polyamory dating, dating as you go on dates to find your person. That's polyamory. I don't think any married person, unless you're straight out of high school, could say that they haven't dated multiple people. Like, what? So someone to ask that question, you go, oh, must be a California thing. I'm not even from California. It's not even that, but it's, that, it's that, 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 that question is the same consciousness as racism. That question is, oh, well, it must be because you're white or you're black or you're Mexican. That consciousness must be, like, oh, because you are uh, from the Philippines. I don't, like, what? Who says that? We just... And I wouldn't even be passionate about it if we didn't just have to sit through a whole motherfucking year learning and being educated. And people still aren't getting it. Social issues are important. We are human beings. Being. This is why I'm doing the work that I'm doing. This is why I show up. This is why I have all these books and things. So that we can learn to actually be with people and not judge them based on their past story of what they were born into. It is not, you know, most people in prison, I did a lot of work in prison. 
I shouldn't say a lot, a year and a half, I did a lot of prison work. You know, the average human being that's in prison, first of all, in America, most incarcerated nation in the world that are developed nations, first off. Second point, let me say, $60,000 per person to have incarcerated a year. 60,000, do you know the average income of someone who's not incarcerated, the average income of a person is $34,000 in America. $3,400,000, or sorry, $34,000. That's, so if you're in prison, if you're in prison, you are receiving double the annual salary of someone who is actually living life. The fuck? So, most people that are in prison though, on top of that, they've had less than five books if one book in their house when growing up. Less than five or one books. So why they're doing the thing they're doing isn't their fault. Isn't their, isn't because they wanted to cause pain. It's because they were taught, and I talk about this in my first book, they were taught to use pain as an instant transactional connection instead of actually something sustainable. Buy the first book, Live Your Truth on Amazon or my website. So if you have that, a transactional society, which is the world, going, 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 transactionally at each other to com- to connect over pain to say something so idiotic and I don't care if I'm that woman is offended it's idiotic to judge a state based on an authentic question of a time of ascension anytime I don't care if it's a child that comes to you I don't care if it's someone in the grocery store comes to you and they ask you a question Would you say that to someone in their face? Oh, well, it must be because you're a Californian or it must be because you're married. It must be because you're a businesswoman. It must be because you're a stay-at-home mom. Who the fuck says that? That's why we have issues. And I'm pissed about it. And that's why I'm doing it. And I don't think any woman on here, if you get pissed about something, don't just sit there and be like, I have to be a good girl. I have to be positive. Fuck that. Get pissed. Take the action. Do the thing. This is exactly what we talk about in the Expanded Liberation Society. It's exactly why I'm creating it. Because these conversations need to be had. Because shit like that, when people post comments to authentic questions about polyamory or monogamy, and you can sit there and put a state on it or a country? You're out of your mind. You actually are the one that needs to be imprisoned for saying that instead of people that want to get well and don't have the opportunity. So serious. So serious. Share this. Share your thoughts. Message me or comment below liberation for these conversations to be had. Because I will never in my life let that type of comment be said in front of me without my voice being heard. It's exactly why I got cancer. Because people say things unawaringly about how people were raised, where they were born, what they had no choice over. You're out of your mind. Out of your mind. Don't care what it is out. And this is why people like that, this is why we have COVID. This is why people are off the planet. Get it together.